Do you want to get really good at approaching? Do you want to really develop this freedom from outcome, which I talked about in letting go of all women? Do you want to become a bold, confident, powerful man that meets women naturally without having to approach all the time? You just got options because you're so naturally confident, you're constantly meeting women. Uh, it's just a part of who you are. Well, I want to talk about this, this in this video, some ideas I've had to help you guys in the online community develop this and develop it properly and develop it now. And I also want to talk about some of the pitfalls. So if you stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about a major pitfall that happens in this area. And this is the thing that really screws guys up and why it happens. And I'll tell you right now, that pitfall uh, has to do with getting good at approaching, but still not getting dates, still not getting sex and being in the same place as when you started. Just now you can talk to women and, that, and nobody wants that, right? So let's dive in a little bit deeper. Before we get started, I wanna invite you to like, subscribe, share, and to uh, comment in the video. If you really like this video, make sure to do all of that. It really helps us to grow the channel, helps us to bring in more awesome content that can help you. Now let's dive right on in. Um, the concept I wanna talk about here is really important. We do it a lot with our clients and it gets them really good at approaching. It gets them really good at approaching on a regular basis. It gets them socializing well, but it has one flaw we discovered uh, a while back is it gets you over your approach anxiety. You get really good at socializing, but sometimes, and this is what I don't want you to have happen, you still don't get laid, you still don't get sex if you don't apply this second step. And I'm gonna do that second, I'm gonna talk about that second step in the uh, second half of this video, it's that important. The first step is you, you gotta go out and start approaching for you, not for them. You gotta go out and do it for you. You gotta go out to do it for freedom from outcome, to grow your balls, to be a man, to be uh, interesting, to be uh, to develop your turn on in the face of rejection. You do the approaching for you. That's the key. And so many guys go out to get laid and just get dates. And that's great if you want that. But the more you are attached, now hear this word attached, attached to getting laid, attached to getting dates, attached to getting women, the harder it is. The more free from outcome you are, the more you can be calm under pressure and not give a fuck what women think of you and people think of you, have fun for you, the more attractive you become. And that's what I talked about in letting go of all women. And we put a link on that here somewhere and you can see how excited, because we got a lot of comments and a lot of views on that video for our channel. You can see how excited men get about that. You see, men love challenge. We love conquest. We love and are ultimately at our core, if we're masculine, chasing going free this freedom from outcome this point where i have got my goal and i'm free and i feel powerful and that's what we all want so if you're attached to getting laid to feel that sense of freedom from outcome then you're giving your power to the women and the women know it and they're disgusted by it because they want their man to be more free from outcome they want to sleep with men that that are not attached to them, but care about them anyways, don't need them, but choose them. They wanna sleep with men that are powerful men that can say no to them. They want you to have feelings, they want you to have emotions, sure. That's really important too, because that's how they trust you. But they also want you to know you can go out and handle the world without get t turning into a wimp the moment some tension arises, something difficult happens. And that makes them really turned on for you. That makes them feel really aroused when they meet a guy like that. So think about the bar. You go out to the bar, and we're gonna talk about at, in a moment here how to develop this. This is it's a really simple process to develop this, but it does take time and consistency, like a little bit of time and a little bit of consistency. So you go out to the bar, you're gonna see women dancing around, you're gonna see men dancing around, you're gonna see people having fun, and you can really see this in these college bars more than any other place where it's just dancing monkeys everywhere and people flowing and bouncing and they're young kids and they got all this energy. And uh, when you go into one, you'll see the girls are really wanting to be noticed. They're putting that feminine on display, uh, tight jeans, wiggling their asses, tops with uh, their tits half hanging out. And they're in that state, that age where they just want to be noticed. They're chasing validation. I think they, a lot of them want that more than they would want sex. It's just notice me, notice me, notice me. It's a young version of the feminine. And the feminine really wants to be inspired at its deepest level through beauty. And in the young version, it's notice me, notice me, notice me, immature version. And as they get more mature, it, it kind of evolves into this expression of beauty with no attachment and no need for return, wanting to create beauty in the world. The masculine wants to conquer, wants to be free from outcome, wants to not 
give a rat's ass when anybody thinks wants to have a deep purpose that they can get and slay and get rid of all that sense of it, uh, attachment to it at the same time so they're free from outcome in the face of their deep purpose in the face of tension like scoring that football uh, touchdown and they they slam the football down and, and you know there are moments before that a, a few yards from the end zone everybody was trying to kill them they cross into that end zone and nobody can touch them and there's that powerful sense of freedom from outcome the man gets so you go to the bar and you're going to see the, the women dancing around you're going to see the men moving around and the, the boys the, the, the college kids they're going to be moving and they're going to be flowing demonstrating freedom from outcome with loud a gregarious expression, being cocky, slamming their bros on the back, looking at a girl, saying something, turning and rejecting her, showing her he doesn't need her. And you'll see this almost weird, perverted mating ritual going on that happens when we're younger that hopefully we evolve out of with a little bit of maturity. And as we get more mature, we begin to realize that we, we still need that freedom from outcome at our core, but we need a greater purpose than some bar pong game or something like, not pong game, but some bar beer pong game you know, or something like that. And uh, we need something more substantial in our life. And we realize that women and men actually hook together perfectly and feed each other in our goals too, when done properly. So to really develop freedom from outcome, um, and if you wanna hear more about this uh, bar stuff that I was talking about, check out my video, Working the Room, uh, which we'll post a link in here too, and, and how that, I kind of break all that down in there. Really good video, check it out. So if you wanna know, uh, if you wanna really develop this freedom from outcome that feels so good, that sets you free as a man to fully be you and go after your dreams, whether that's a business, whether that's a, the perfect woman in your life, that you build a powerful relationship, whether that's just creating uh, anything in the world that you wanna create as a man, that deep sense of purpose that you wanna bring to the world, then this, is essential this this developing this freedom from outcome becomes essential so what i tell guys to do is in approaching in the beginning if you're not good at approaching you're not good at meeting women and it's not really about approaching because once you develop really good freedom from outcome you'll meet women all the time you won't even have to hardly approach but in the beginning go out and approach everybody i've approached 100 i think i approached 400 people in one day once just quick interactions boom 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 developing freedom from outcome this this sense of more flow and more freedom in who i'm being and that was a lot of work but you can do 100 in a little over an hour if you just keep the interactions under like 30 seconds 45 seconds a minute you can some really short ones really quick ones quick question move on another quick question move on and maybe talk for a few seconds here and you just flow, you don't stop, you don't think, you get into these flow states because when you stop and think, you hit these flow states. And I tell everybody, go and do these stops all the time. Do you set a goal of five a day, 10 a day, talking to people. And now the goal is to develop freedom from outcome, not to get a phone number, not to get a date. Definitely talk to every beautiful woman you see and everybody else too, but develop freedom from outcome. Don't try to do 100 people every day, that's a, that's a stretch. Do a, you know, set a goal of five or 10 a day or, or whatever you feel comfortable with that you can get in. And then when you go up, your job is very simple. In the beginning, get one question out. And if you can't approach it all, just get one question out. What's the time? What's the directions? Hey, I see you got a, a bag that has such and such store on it. Where is that store? Let me get it, uh, you know, help me out. And then every time you do your interactions for the day, journal them, write down exactly what happened be brutally honest um the girl really rejected me people looked at me funny i felt shame and guilt or she really smiled at me got turned on and i got nervous she invited me to go hang out with her later and i got really nervous said no or whatever comes up for you or i went out with her and it was great whatever comes up with you for you and then reframe it into the positive if it's like i got really brutally rejected and she was cold to me how is that positive well, the rejection hurt and brought up some sadness in me and I get to face and release that sadness now. It's freaking awesome. It hurts, but I can handle the hurt because if on the other side is freedom from outcome, this is, exact, this is exactly what I need to get to the next level. And I know they won't all be like this. So that's an example. You say exactly, with total honesty, exactly what happened and you write the reframe into the positive of how you're gonna grow and learn from that thing. And you do it for every interaction you can remember or as many as you can, or the biggest ones of that day if you did a bunch. And you do this over a period of time. And particularly the beautiful girls you talk to. You do it over 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and you keep extending the process every time you do it. So maybe at first it's just, hey, do you know where I can get a good cup of coffee? Later it's, hey, I'm totally lost. Do you know where there's a good cup of coffee around here? Well, awesome, you're my tour guide. You know, let's go get a coffee together. 
and it starts to turn into stuff like that. So the first, you'll just ask one question. Second, you'll ask two questions. And later, you'll try to make them laugh. Your goal will be, you know what, I'm gonna ask a question, walk up and try to make these people laugh in some way. That's gonna be my goal. Maybe it's, I'm gonna try to make them laugh and then try to get them into a deep conversation. If you, you see the progression there, one question, two question, make them laugh, deep progression. And you just keep doing this, extending out. If you can only get to 45 seconds or 30, let's say 30 seconds in a conversation on average, set a timer, put it in your pocket on vibrate for 45 seconds and see if you can break that 45 seconds. And again, write down exactly what happened and what you're learning from it every day for let's say 90 days. You can do 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Uh, if you're really shy, do that 90 days. Just work your way up. And the whole goal is freedom from outcome, not caring what they think of you. And you note that. You can write it in the top of your journal. I am practicing freedom from outcome. Now, that doesn't mean if a girl starts flirting with you, you don't flirt back or you don't go out with you, you don't get her number, but that's not the goal. If she doesn't call you, so see, you do get her number, she doesn't call you back, you write that down and you write it in the positive, the reframe. Now, what am I learning from that? So this is the first part of the practice and you continue doing it. And as you start to work on the humor, you can work on push pulls. You can look up other videos I've got, like the one I've got on push pulls and how to do them and start practicing them. And again, if you suck in the beginning, perfect. You're learning from that. That's the reframe, a little bit at a time. And you'll grow a lot. There'll be weeks when it'll seem like you're going backwards and you'll go forward again. Once you start to get fairly decent at doing this, start working on your ways of being instead of extending the conversation, maybe spend a week or two working on, is my heart open? Can I feel my heart wrap around these people? Can I ground into my stomach? If you understand this stuff and you've read my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction, understand this stuff more and feel that sense of, can I feel my stomach? Can I feel the grounding in my legs? For the next 10 interactions, I'm going to just feel my legs when I talk to this person. For the next 10 after that, I'm gonna work on feeling genuine curiosity for this person. And then you're gonna journal those. And let's say you couldn't find something curious about a person you approached, you write that down, couldn't find anything curious. Matter of fact, I thought of something after they left, so I know next time I will think of something faster. And you just start developing these beingness qualities to go with the actions you've developed, to extending it out over time, a little bit at a time, developing one skill set after another. So hear that, that's the journal, that's what you're writing out. You should have a big thick journal at the end of the 90 days, extending this ability out. Now, before I tell you the flaw that can come from this, that you need to start correcting right away, I wanna invite you again to like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you really like this video, definitely comment. If you want me to go deeper into this and really maybe work something around this, I was thinking about working something around this with Anthony, developing something out a little bit longer. We get on and do videos and demos and stuff. I know it's a lot of work, so I'm thinking about it. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. So definitely comment in the video. Now, with that said, let's continue on. Now, the flaw that comes from this. The flaw that can come from this, and I've seen it, I saw it with early clients and I've seen it with uh, guys, even that I haven't worked with, I've seen it all over the place, is guys can get really good at approaching, pulling women in, getting them into conversation, but still not get anywhere. Get on dates, not get anywhere. Get on instant dates I'm talking about, not get anywhere. Uh, get phone numbers, not get callbacks. They get really good at grounding women and the women even seem to like them and like them a lot, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. That's the problem. That's a different problem than approaching. If your problem was meeting women, you are now good at meeting women. You're meeting them on a regular basis. So that's awesome, celebrate that, write that in your journal, you've done that. The second phase has to be done simultaneously so you don't create this problem. A lot of men have problems with intimacy, sex, commitment, things like that, like sex, it might be that as soon as I have sex with a girl, I'm, com I'm gonna feel committed and trapped. If I have sex with a girl, I might get an STD. Uh, what, what if I'm bad in bed? Will I have to be her boyfriend instantly if I have sex with her and I'll be obligated to her forever? You know, there's, there's all this weird stuff that comes up in our heads. And so we don't move things forward. I've seen guys that are super uber attractive to women, women like them, but the guy is self-sabotaging, doesn't see that he's actually rejecting her. He's putting up walls. As soon as she starts to lean in and show interest, he puts a wall up. So he's putting a wall up, some kind of wall between him and her. You see, he's gotten comfortable through all the work he's done with approaching, with approaching, with socializing, with being social, but the client hasn't gotten comfortable with intimacy, sex, sexuality, stuff like that. So he won't let things move forward. He has the attractiveness to pull a girl in, but he would never see it or won't let it happen or will self-sabotage it along the way. And that's a real problem. It's a frustrating problem because 
the same guy will go out every day approaching day in and day out, but nothing ever seems to happen. And there's nothing more frustrating than that. He starts to think he's not attractive, but in reality, he's the one putting up the walls. This is why the women will talk to him, flirt with him, go on instant dates with him, but then it doesn't seem to go anywhere. And I saw this recently, and I can give you an example. I, had a, I took a guy out um, to the bar because he wanted to learn to approach bar and, and bars. And I took him out for his first day. He was a chaotic mess. We got him grounded out a little bit, worked on getting him calm and comfortable. Second day, some more of that. He, he did meet a girl the first day at the end of the night when he calmed down a bit. Second day, he did the same thing, but he started to ground out sooner. The chaotic energy started to relax. He started to focus. And he met this really sweet girl. She was really cute. And they started to enjoy each other. Well, she showed interest in him. She started to turn towards him. She started to drop low on her body. She stepped into her turn on. She tried to isolate him. She wanted to pull him off and from her girlfriends and go talk to him somewhere else for a bit. And he freaked out. He looked at her and he said, no, and backed up. And then looked at me, looked at her, looked at me. And then he said, meet Brian. And he handed her to me. I talked to him later about why he did that. And he said, I felt like a little boy suddenly. I felt like I wanted to run home. He felt shame basically and he felt guilt or shame or something of that nature that was coming up blocking him from moving forward when she showed interest in him when she dropped into her turn on and this is how he rejected her this is how he stopped the whole process so i want to invite you into this idea that you can solve that problem as you move along from day one of beginning to work on approach freedom freedom from approaching and letting go of all sectors, trying to get anywhere with the women, you also simultaneously work on your stories that come up around sex and sexuality and intimacy. You start to write them all down. Everything that comes up every day, you visualize yourself with the different women you meet throughout the day, the attractive women, getting dates, going out on dates, getting sex, moving forward. And whatever comes up, write it down. Oh, I felt shame when I pictured that. I felt guilt. I felt nervous about the thought of going out with her tonight. You got to visualize it in the now, like it's happening right now, not in the future. I'm going out with her right now. And whatever stories come up, write them down in the journal exactly like you experienced them. I felt, uh, I felt like I shrunk a little bit. And then write down what you're learning from them. Write down exactly what's happening, the truth, and then write down how you're learning, how you're growing. Oh, I felt myself shrink. Now I'm going to practice and visualize opening up. I'm going to, I felt myself get guilty. I'm going to welcome that guilt and let go of even 1%, 2% of that guilt. Tomorrow you'll do a little bit more and a little bit more. Every day you're visualizing freedom from outcome, being forward sexually, intimately, letting girls know what you want, asking them on dates while working on your freedom from outcome with dating, uh, excuse me, as with approaching. So as you get good at approaching and you don't want anything, you're just having fun and you're setting the girls free and you're creating value and you're making them laugh and everybody really, and you start to get to where you're pulling people in, then you start to work on literally getting dates. You move the approaching from just approaching to practice going free to approaching to get dates approaching to ask women out and still the focus is can i ask them out and stay totally free from outcome journaling in the response can i tell them they're sexy saying totally free in the response and however response can i move forward and start to you know let's say it moves towards a kiss can i let go of all attachment to outcome doesn't mean you don't want it it just means you're not attached to it and you move in that direction of the intimacy and the sexuality after you've got comfortable making people smile and laugh, especially beautiful women. Don't make it twice as hard. You can barely talk to people, and yet I'm going to seduce them all the first day. And don't put in a, don't, don't deal with the attachment of that either. Let go of all attachment. Learn to have fun for you. Learn to have fun for you in the face of flirting with women. Learn to have fun for you in the face of uh, seduction and moving towards and learn to embody all of that at once in the end. Ultimately, it all comes together and coalesces in this journal. So the idea is now you have two pages in the journal. On the left side, you're writing down all your approach uh, stuff and, you're, and how you're reframing it and you're, and you're developing freedom from outcome. And on the right side, you're writing down all your sexual stuff and intimacy stuff and reframing all of that all along the way and give yourself like 30, 60, 90 days, preferably 90 days and let it progress slowly. Sometimes it's gonna go like this. It's gonna go up, down, up, down. So sometimes it's gonna seem like it's going backwards. That's when you're working some shame or some guilt or some frustration. And note that that, that, that week something heavy was coming up. The next week it'll pop and break and you'll grow a little bit again. And this can radically change your life if you let yourself do it over time. If you just sit with it, play with it, and work with it, okay?
So I want to invite you into this idea. This could be a lot of fun, it, if you, especially if you do a good 90-day program. You can really grow a lot from it. You can change your life. You can develop more freedom from outcome, and you can have the life of your dreams if you're willing to be patient, slow down to go fast. If you want me to go deeper into this and really go step by step by step, and really show you something that could work with a 90-day progress, maybe work with Anthony over several videos and we develop something together, let me know. This could be a lot of fun. It could be something that that we do and we put out for you guys that, that could be powerful. It's, it could take a lot of work. So I wanna know if this is something you guys would be interested in based on the idea that I just gave for you here, okay? Uh, so put that comment in the video somewhere. and. Um, and let us know right away, put in some details. I definitely will be checking them out. I've been checking out every one of my videos shortly after they come out and looking at your comments and seeing what's going on in there. And uh, I want to make sure that I bring to you guys exactly what you want uh, on this channel. Oh, by the way, if you haven't checked it out already, make sure to go check out uh, my two videos on becoming, letting go of all women. That's really developing that sense of freedom from outcome and how powerful it is and how much men, and look at all the comments. Guys really love this idea. That's why you're on my channel. My channel is not really a dating channel. It's a personal growth confidence channel for men. We just use dating because it brings up so much of your garbage as a way to let go and become totally free because there's nothing more attractive than a man that's truly free from outcome while totally embodied. Free from outcome under stress, under tension, under pressure, not sitting at a beach somewhere, but in the middle and the thick of it. And that's what we're teaching you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this idea. Hopefully you enjoyed this concept. Definitely check out Letting Go of All Women and Letting Go of All Women in Practice. Definitely check those two videos out. And um, with that said, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment as I said earlier. And remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.